In my Wano Kuni prediction video, I mentioned Kuwita being the head of the Rebel Army. Well, today I am going to expand on that theory and explain it to you guys. Kuwita's father told her she could never become the world's greatest swordsman because she is a girl. This would cause Kuwita to view her father as an obstacle trying to block her from achieving her dream. One night when Kuwita and Laura were young, Monkey D. Dragon visited her hometown. I believe Kuwina sought Dragon out and she asked him if she could join the Revolutionary Army. With the help of Ivanko or another member of the Revolutionary Army, Kuwina would fake her death, tricking everyone, her father and Zoro included, into believing she was dead and she would later leave the island with Dragon. Over time, Kuwina would learn of the island of Wano Kuni and would eventually lead the Revolutionary Army to go stake it out so she could challenge the Shogun. Kuwina would challenge the Shogun and lose and then remain on the island to continue her training until she became strong enough to defeat the Shogun. Eventually, the Shogun would team up with Kaido to kill Lord Odin. As Kuwina had already bonded with a lot of people on the island and made many friends, she would immediately involve herself in this conflict. Kuwina would be one of the strongest and most respected swordsmen on the island. This way, when she does have her rematch with Zoro, it would be the strongest swordsman of Wano next to the Shogun versus Rowano with Zoro, and it would be a really good battle. But, as the strongest swordsman on the island, and the most well-respected one, or at least one of them, Kuwina would be asked to join the rebel group of samurai that is going against Kaido and the Shogun as they do not agree with the killing of the Daimao. Kuwina, connected to Zoro, will call her to help the Straw Hats when they arrive on the island, once she realizes that Zoro is a member of the crew, she will also be the one to convince all the rebels to leave Zoro alone and convince them that he did not rob the grave of Ryuma. She will convince them that Zoro's story of winning Shusui in a fight with a reanimated Ryuma on Solar Bark was true, and Zoro's word can be trusted. And she and the rebels would help the Straw Hats in their fight against the Beast Pirates and Kaido, as well as the Shogun and the Samurai that are loyal to him on Wano. As I stated earlier, because she is one of the strongest swordsmen on Wano, she would eventually end up fighting Zoro. However, this may cause Zoro and Sanji to have some sort of mini fight, as Sanji would want to try to stop Zoro from fighting a woman, to the point of death. I do not believe they would actually fight each other to the death and kill each other, but I do believe they're going to fight until one of them gives up, and since neither one of them will ever give up, I do believe the fight would be to the to near death. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this little Kuina theory video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe, for more One Piece videos, I'm going to be doing a lot more prediction and theory videos regarding the re Reverie and the Water Arcs that are approaching later this year. If you enjoyed, like the video, subscribe for more videos like this, and above all else guys, have a great day. Follow me on Twitter and check out my Facebook, the link to both of those is in the description box down below. And above all else guys, have a great day.